Man, there's just something soothing and calming about coffee every morning. It's like a religion here to me. But today is a fine, nice morning here. We are still at Aspect Tamar Valley Resort. You can hear the bird chirping. Yeah, I can see, I think, some wallabies, some rabbits yesterday. It's full of wildlife, to be honest. But um, let's go check out what this place has to offer. This is one of the reasons people come here to the Tamar Valley Resort. There is a village in the middle that it's a replication of a village called Grindelwald in Switzerland. It's the concept that the owner brought over here. Wow, this I think looks just off a movie set, really beautiful, isn't it Helmi? Yeah, so we were here last night and the lights was on, oh my god, it seriously looked like Hollywood movie set. And there's actually a lookout there where you can go up and then you see the whole resort. There you go, it's a small lookout, you can see like the village. We made it to Hillwood Berry Farm. Oh my gosh, this is actually one of the biggest farms that I ever seen, right? This is That's so right. huge. And yeah. it is one of our bucket list guys to yeah. actually pick our own berries. Yeah, so we got these two containers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fill up with strawberry and other berries. Thousands, hundreds, millions of them here. You can just pick them, right? So we've got rows and rows here. We're just trying to find the most red one the plum ones as well. Oh my god! Wow. You know, this reminds me of Japan actually. Japan has this white strawberry which is very sweet and very expensive but obviously not in Australia. So we're gonna get the red ones for sure. First raspberry, look! You know, usually if you buy in supermarket, raspberry and blueberry, they are so expensive. So it's good that we basically come to the farm and pick up our stuff. So fresh! So all this cost $14, so the strawberry almost a kilo. We actually gone overboard. This is only for two people, right? And this lovely raspberry, blueberry and blackberry usually cost fortune in supermarkets. So yeah, it's very nice. And they don't use pesticides, so you can actually just eat it straight away. Mmm. Mmm. Is it sweet? Mm-hmm. You know what? Everything that I pick is sweet. Try the blackberry that Nick picked. Sweet. Mm, it's sweet. Of course. Well done. So right now we are in the Mole Creek area because we're going to be staying the night here. We're going to wake up really early tomorrow for a sunrise at Cradle Mountain. Highly doubt it though because we've been waking up really really late. But we're making a little bit of a pit stop now, this afternoon, to Mole Creek Caves here because apparently inside the cave there's an underground kind of river and some glowworms. It's gonna be kind of like General and Caves in Sydney if you guys been to it. So I've been wearing jacket to avoid the sun and they told us that the temperature inside the cave is 9 degrees. See? You need to wear jacket all the time, especially in Tasmania. 
we are just by the entrance now and waiting for the tour guide to come in and pick us up but I can feel how cold it is already it's crazy I can see the entrance of the cave it's pretty dark so cold <laughs> it's not too bad when you get inside ah. Um, our cave is very, very old and we're very lucky because it's still continuing to grow. So I just ask that as when you're inside the cave that you please don't touch any of the cave surfaces. If we touch areas of the cave, it puts oils from our hand onto that area. That then means that the water will run off the area, not leaving behind fresh calcite crystal. Absolutely fine to touch hand railing and things, just none of the cave surfaces. Oh, it's so low. Watch your head, Helmy. Well, Even short. Yeah. So. Helmy's quite short. Yes, but still she needs to duck down. You'll notice some of these formations are very flat on the end. So in the early days when you did a cave tour, you were able to snap a piece off and take it home as a souvenir. Which is a bit sad and a bit wrong, but I guess <clears throat> they didn't understand, they didn't realise in those early days just exactly how old the cave was and how, how long the formations had taken to develop. In the winter time, it actually feels a little bit warmer in here because we can have minus six degree frosts outside. So the cave is nine degrees, it almost feels warmer walking in in the winter. Ah, oh, man, I was so cold, mm. but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Especially in the section where we can't really turn on our cameras, unfortunately, but we saw so many glow worms. Oh, I've never seen one before, and it's just magical, really. But now we're back out. It's getting warmer again, which is kind of nice because it was, it was kind of like inside a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Nine so degrees. cold. Nine degrees all the way. <laughs> So right now we are like in the middle of nowhere guys but we were surrounded by beautiful mountains, beautiful scenery. So apparently we couldn't get an accommodation near to Cradle Mountain so instead Helmi was looking around and this was the only available option and a good thing that she did because this place, wow, absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna show you guys around. There's just so much stuff here in this place and you can book this, I think, through Airbnb or booking.com. But the owner actually lives here as well. Such a welcoming person. This is what I love about Tasmania. Everybody's so nice and there's cows here, there's goat, there's chicken, and there's also sheep. Wow, very nice king size bed, living area, big size TV, perfect couch right here. We got a coffee machine, look at that. Play. This is like a service apartment guys, seriously it's so good. Not that we need it because it's summer but imagine this is winter, you got a log here. Oh, you can burn your own fire. Yeah, this is super cool. I should have never seen this before. It's beautiful! My god, it's so big. And I actually like the color. So they keep it simple as black and white. So it's very modern, it's very nice. Seriously, this is the best accommodation. So yeah, look at this. A really nice and comfy place. And then we got the owner's dog here too. And then. I think there's another one. I think he or she, not too sure, wants to play. He. <laughs> oh, yay! I can pet him. Do you want me to pet him or play? Oh! Wow! Really loves that. But anyway, this is the cow. Wow. Look. Just went up. This is like, you're like 
good dog, huh? So cute. That's not a goat. That's a dog goat. Dog goat. <laughs> yeah. You make it to YouTube, you know. Hi. <laughs> You'll make it to YouTube. Make and help me. She said, "Don't forget to subscribe." <laughs> Can you imagine? Like I've never even thought about living out in the middle of nowhere in a farm with a bunch of animals. Such a beautiful sight. And I know. something I guess we see the cider take for granted sometimes, you know? Like wow. So this place is called Mall Creek Highway. So it's actually a very good pit stop, especially if you want to go to Cradle Mountain. Rather than, you know, I guess staying at Cradle Mountain is not bad as well, but this one particularly, <laughs> it's so good. Like seriously, you can pet the goats. Oh my gosh! You got, all you got to do is just open this up and that look. Oh, wow. Oh. There are a lot and of they're, eggs. They're, they're from today. They're from today? Yeah. Wow. And that, so they're good, they're good fresh farm eggs. Wow. Wow. Look at that, guys. <laughs> fresh farm eggs. It's insane how peaceful and calming it is here. You've got, really got this nice breeze because it's so late in the afternoon. It's about 6.30 right now, but as you can see, because it's summer, the sun is still out. Wow, they are so friendly, right? I know, but they're so far. Hi, Lizzie. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, I actually never touch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's a little bit sharp edges there. Yeah. Just be careful. Oh, they got big eyes, like. Yeah, look, look, like the eyes. They got eyelashes as well. <laughs> Better than your eyelashes, Helen. I know. Wow. Their eyelashes, eyelashes are like beautiful. Hello, hi, Blossom. All right, so I think we're gonna head back, eh, Helmy? Yeah. Cause the sheep's right there, but I don't think they're too friendly today. So every time we come near. They just kind of like flock away from one end to the other end, so yeah. See you later. There you go. We just made it to the visitor center here at Cradle Mountain. It's about $16.50 per person for the pass uh, through the national park here. That's the one stop. The circuit. So yeah. you start walking. You start walking around Dove Lake. But that's also one of the best places to start as well. It's so beautiful and that's what we want to see today. Yeah. Ooh, look at this view, it's unbelievable. The water just stretches out and then just right behind it you see Cradle Mountain. And you can actually go up to the summit there but we're not gonna do that. It's about three to five hours I think of return, it's really long. And it's for seasoned hikers really, we're not. But we can just appreciate how beautiful it is. It's just unbelievable. The water is so pure, so crystal clear. Down the ice place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack will get stony Walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back While I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city No, I'm a small part of this city,